This is a SIG Energy, SIG install battery system, not to scale, but it's gonna get bigger. We've got new modules, bigger capacity, more storage, but there are some things to be a little bit concerned about. Let's find out about them now. Right, before we go any further, let's have a quick recap around what is a SIG Store SIG Energy battery. Well, it is a modular solution for a home battery storage system. So you can have like different modules, you can have different inverters, it's smart, it's connected to AI, and it's really popular at the moment with people who are looking for the latest generation of battery technology. So their growth has been insane. From launch with the SIG Store stackable system, you had two choices of battery. You had a five kilowatt hour module and you had an eight kilowatt hour module and you could mix them, which is really rare for battery systems because normally you have to fit them with the same size capacity each time you want to upgrade the storage size. But not with SIG Store, you could mix five with eights or you could mix eights with fives and it would all work. It was all compatible. They were actually all the same size. Now talking about sizes, capacity, SIG call their batteries 5, 8, you know, 6, 10s, but actually it doesn't really relate to the actual capacity which it normally would. So the 5, the original 5, that was just over 5 kilowatt hours, I think it was like 5.3, then it had a usable of about 5.1 kilowatt hours, and the 8, well that was just over 8, 8.02 I think, but the usable was about 7.8. Capacities, maximum and usable, are a little bit misleading, but the easiest way to think about it is if you buy 500 millilitres of water in a water bottle and you try and drink it all, there'll always be some left in that bottle, and that really is depth of discharge, that's capacity. So you can't access all of that energy, there's always going to be a little bit left in there. What really counts for a homeowner is the usable capacity. At the point of launch, a 5 kilowatt hour and an 8 kilowatt hour module were pretty competitive when it came to capacities, but over the last sort of 18 months, capacities are getting bigger and bigger for batteries. Look at Tesla, their entry level product, the Powerwall 3, that starts at 13.5 kilowatt hours. If you wanna see a review of that product, then you can click it here somewhere on the screen. But back to SIG Energy. So, they have these batteries, they're in market. People are buying more and more modules, but there's a cry for more capacity. And that brings us to the present day when they have just launched these. Well, this is one of them. The other one is down there. We tried to pick both of them up, but we, we couldn't do it. This is the replacement for that old five kilowatt hour module. It's the SIG Store 6. Now, 6 is the giveaway, or you'd think so, to the capacity, 6 kilowatt hours. Before we get into that capacity, let's talk about some of the features that are the same on this battery as the previous generation. Now, let's start with the aesthetics and the makeup, the sort of hardware of the product. It's identical. We've got the old ones here, we've got the new ones here. The whole team's been around them. We can't find any differences when it comes to the design or the build of the product. The only difference between this and the old series is just that capacity. Now, the old battery was really, really good because it had those five tiers, those five protection measures when it comes to safety, because safety is really at the heart it's one of the big cells of the SIG install range. Now, one of them is thermal sensors. So to prevent thermal runaway, this is when a battery sort of loses control of itself and that's when they explode. This battery has sensors built in that will prevent that from happening. So the first call, sensors, we're getting too hot, shut the battery down. If it can't control it that way, then it's got a PRV, a pressure release valve on the side of the battery. So if the pressure builds up inside of the battery, it can safely discharge it. Those cells, they're all gel lined, so they're all isolated from each other. And in fact, the entire case is also gel lined with thermal protection. And the last port of call, that is the integrated aerosol. So if it does have thermal runaway, it gets too hot and there's a problem, 
the aerosol extinguishes any issue in the battery. So safety, massive feature of the product and really, really important if you're gonna fit these in your property. Now, if you are gonna install one of these in your property, what you are gonna benefit from from that old model is some extra capacity. So the SIG Energy SIG Store 6 is six kilowatt hours. It's just over six kilowatt hours gross capacity. The usable, the important bit for you guys, 5.8 kilowatt hours. So no problems there. The one we've got to show you next does need some thinking about. Now, something else that has stayed the same is this modular design, which for installers makes installing these super easy. This is the brand new SIG Energy SIG Store 10, not really 10 kilowatt hour battery. Let me explain. So visually looks the same as the old eight or that new six. The only reason it looks a little bit different here is I haven't put the side covers on because we've lost them. Sorry, bit of behind the scenes. This is what it would look like before the installer installs those pretty side LED covers. Here's the problem. First generation, we had a five kilowatt hour module and that was just over five kilowatt hours, usable more than five kilowatt hours. And we had the eight, which was just over eight and just under eight usable. Then we saw the data sheet for the brand new six and we were like, okay, it's just over six, just under six usable and then we were like 10 kilowatt hour real sweet spot in the market that will do really really well and then we read the data sheet and we saw that the 10 is more like a 9 and usable 8.7 we immediately pick up the phone, we get through to our contact at SIG Energy, and we say, look, there's obviously an error here with the data sheet because the five was a five, the eight was an eight, the six is a six, and the 10's a nine. And he said, no, that's right, it's a mistake in terms of we shouldn't have called it a 10. It is called a 10, I've had this conversation with them, only sell it as a nine, even though you will buy it as a 10, but it's not called a 10 kilowatt hour on the actual model name, that sort of their get out. Anyway, where there is upside is on the price in front, because thankfully this isn't priced like a 10 kilowatt hour module. So how much does it actually cost? Well, the old eight kilowatt hour unit, that was about 2,250 pounds plus VAT to purchase, and then you had to pay someone to install it, but it's not complex to install if you've got the space. You would have to take the inverter off and waffle in, I'm so sorry. The 10, nine kilowatt hour version, that's priced at 2,450 pounds. So you're gonna pay 200 pounds more to have the 10, 9, 9, 1.1, 8.7, then you would the original eight kilowatt hour module. It's not too bad. When you price it in pounds per kilowatt hour, it's pretty competitive. That works out to about 180 pound-ish a kilowatt hour supply only. Pretty competitive, especially when you compare it to something like a Tesla Powerwall 3, which is a lot more per kilowatt hour. Continuing with the positivity theme, another great thing about these two new battery cells is you can mix and match them like you could with the old ones, but even better, you can mix and match them with the old ones. So right now, let's say you've got a 16 kilowatt hour SIG Energy SIG and store, and you fancy more battery storage. You can't buy the eights and you can't buy the fives anymore. You can now treat yourself with one of the latest generation batteries and have that bigger capacity. Lots of numbers, lots of data. What we're gonna do now is put everything on the screen for you to digest. And while you look at those numbers, I'm gonna to subscribe to the Heatable YouTube channel. Before you look at that data, are you subscribed? And if you're not, do that now. This is heavy and uncomfortable and slightly weird. Yeah, quick summary. Great product, misleading product name, 
But the good thing is we're not gonna sell this as a 10 kilowatt hour module. If you're being quoted for solar and they're quoting you for a SIG install 10, remember this video because it is super important. We're gonna list it as a nine kilowatt hour. And I think, depending when you're watching this video, we've got an offer on right now for a free gateway with every system. So head over there, do that. Don't forget to subscribe to the Heatable YouTube channel because you might have missed this video and you could have been missed all the battery. If you've enjoyed it, give it a like. Leave a comment and we'll see you again soon.